Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I just want to quickly go through the new Asus uh, Cyclops uh, malware attack that's been targeting our Asus uh, routers. Um, so as you might have seen in some of the news but it hasn't been widespread um, and if you're a subscriber you might have seen in the community posts I've, uh, I've put on there about the uh, actual Kind of malware and how it's been attacking but also the affected uh, routers because it's not all asus routers um there is um, only a limited amount of them but um it is quite important that you update your firmware and also some of the end of life that will go into uh, routers where that means that they're quite old now so asus do not support them anymore so you will not get any up Dates for security or anything like that um, he actually advised that you actually go out and buy a new router um, so that that's uh, how quite serious this uh, malware is and how it affects your routers so if we just go on to now as you can see here um, so it does actually say you've got a list here so there's some details on uh, how it's targeting everyone and everything else so basically what this does is called the Cyclops Blink um, and it also has been affecting other uh, devices um, first but now this seems to have uh, actually started targeting the uh, Asus routers. So what it is is an advanced piece of malware. Um, basically it focuses on the permanent and uh, ability to survive uh, attempts to take it down kind of thing so what it does once it actually infects your router um, it actually stays actually built into the, uh, the actual chip where the firmware is so even if you do a factory reset um, then if you think most of the times they advise you you know if you're being infected like in a windows pc if you do a factory reset then that will raise everything um, sadly this actual malware actually embeds itself permanently into the actual uh, router's uh, main software so even if you do a factory reset it will just install itself back again and what it does is this malware actually um, basically it's there to give them a, a backdoor into your router um, so then they can access your network and of course most of the time they're trying to target not so much home users but more to do with small businesses and things like that and then they can implement uh, more kind of malware or viruses or these uh, ones where they uh, crypto um, where they demand some money so where they basically uh, encrypt all your files and then uh, ransomware kind of thing and then say so you have to pay a certain amount of crypto to them and they'll give you the unlock key um, so yeah so again th th this is just a uh, certain uh, routers and I'll put it in the description the routers that are affected um, so from my understanding it doesn't actually affect any of the uh, R1s that I normally do the videos on so that's the uh, GTAX um, 11000 or the GTAX E11000 so there is some older uh, routers that it does affect so as you can see here it does go into um, more details on what actually happens and I'll put the link in the description if you want to read about it more so as you can see here I think Trend Micro actually has uh, done a write up on explaining how it actually writes you know, the code actually into memory and then locks it in there and everything else if you are uh, interested so that basically is the script it runs into flash memory and this is where it stores it so even when we were saying before you do a, a factory reset then you will um, you'll still not be able to do anything. So um, there is an advisory out. So Asus um, have also uh, basically said about the, um, have acknowledged the actual problem and have given you some information. So we'll go on to that next. So again, there's this Trend Micro that's actually done the analysis and everything else. And it's got much more information on here about the code and then how it actually works. So I won't go through that now because it will just take up time and most of the time all you're aware is that you just want to make sure you either update your router or you're aware that your router might be vulnerable to this um, and what to do so the, I'll put these links in the description um, so as we go on here uh, uh, Asus do have a um, a basically a, pro a product security advisory page where anything that gets raised as a security vulnerability is logged and again, I'll put that in the description where you can go to. So what you can see here is the uh, latest um, 
security update. So this is where it's saying about this Cyclops Blink. Um, so security advisory. So it's saying here that basically Asus is investigating and working on remediation. Um, and so what they mean there is that they're basically just looking at updating the firmware where possible. So you can see here where they're saying to help owners what precautions um, they're asking you to do. So one, they're asking you to reset your device to factory default and then log into the web GUI. So that's on here. So it's normally using a browser, your Safari, Google or anything like that, not using the app. Go to administration. Um, restore save and upload setting and then click um, initialize all settings and clear all the data log so basically it's doing a whole factory reset um, and then you can click the uh, restore button but I think it's also click the factory reset button um, so you don't want to one thing it's saying it doesn't say here is that once you've reset this back to factory default don't uh, it's probably best not to restore if you've got any settings sadly that you've saved so you think oh I can just restore my previous settings for Wi-Fi to make things easier um, if it, your router has been infected it's more like infected some of the files as well they're not that silly so it'll probably just make things worse again so you'll probably have to start from scratch and actually try and um, set up your Wi-Fi to your custom Wi-Fi name or SSID and then your uh, internet login details as well. Um, so it is gonna cause you a bit more trouble but it's worth it in the long run to make sure for security wise. Then it says two is to update all your devices to the latest firmware and then three to ensure the admin password has been changed to a more secure one. That's just basic for um, basically for all uh, routers you should always change the default admin password um, you can use like um, a password manager and there's I use a Bitwarden um, because it's open source and it's free so you don't have to pay anything and they have um, a, an iOS app, an Android app, a Windows, a Mac OS um, and so it's, it's really good and it's uh, free as well so you can't really go wrong with that and for the saying most importantly is to disable remote management so as you've seen in our previous videos with advanced settings on the Asus routers you'll find there that you can you have to switch on the, um, the basically to remote management so you can actually access your uh, web GUI or the settings page uh, from the internet and that's to get the app working as well and normally it defaultly switch that on um, so it's asking you to disable that so you can't access it because that's another big vulnerability as well I've never advised anyone to actually switch that on um, it does switch itself on um, under uh, when you use the app and everything else so again it's not advisable to use the app on these certain routers again it is only if affected certain routers and not everything um, so again yeah just to make sure you complete these four steps and as we move up you can see on the ASUS website they're showing you the affected uh, products here so these are the routers here so again um, they're saying if you've got these firmware versions or earlier um, so as you can see here all of these ones uh, will have new firmware for you to upgrade so you need to go on to there and just click on the uh, firmware page under advanced settings and check for new firmware you'll see on these ones here so the RTAC87U and the AC66U and the 56U are end of life so that means they will not receive any uh, security updates or updated firmware so sadly um, if you really are uh, do get infected um, there's nothing much you can do with these except for and then I think they're revising on some others is where you actually replace the router um, because you'll never get any new security update software and of course don't forget this thing this router that people forget is on 24 7 it gives access to it connected straight to the internet so unless you've got a fire another firewall or anything in front of it um, then if it's got vulnerabilities like this then um, even if you think you're a home user, um, they just target everyone nowadays because they've got uh, basically software bots that, that they've um, 
designed and it will just go out and trawl the internet so they don't distinguish between small businesses home users and things like that um, they will try and target as much as they can um, so they can get access to different um, devices so I do advise if you have got these routers it's probably best time now to look at getting a new Wi-Fi 6 router I know it's more money and everything else and perhaps you're thinking oh uh, you know who's going to hack us? Uh, I've only got like a few devices on my home device. Uh, again, it's it's not really humans that go out looking for it anymore. Now it's just uh, bots that go out and that automate this process, so they don't distinguish. So yeah, it's just a warning. Basically, it's up to you. Uh, it's just my advice. And then it says here, please note if you choose not to install the new firmware version. Uh, to avoid any potential unwanted intrusions, we strongly recommend that you disable the remote access from WAN and reset your router to its default settings. So and then it's going on here about um, if you have already installed the latest version, please discard this notice. So basically they're saying that the, the newer firmwares should mitigate these actions as well. But again, um, how safe you really feel is because you've uh, even if you updated the firmware, um, this software, this malware can still uh, hide in the actual chip itself in the flash memory so it might not even get rid of it so there's not 100% there as well again all these links and everything else I'll put into the description so this is just a quick warning that if you do want to always be security conscious, keep up to date I know some of us use Merlin um, uh, firmware or you use the official Asus um, firmware it's always best um, to always keep up to date and keep checking on your firmware at least once a month to keep up to date because um, these things are connected to the internet and then we have all our devices we do all, everything on here um, so it's always best uh, to make sure that you're up to date okay i hope you found this useful as usual if you have any comments leave them in the uh, comment section and i'll try and get back to you okay thanks for watching and have a great day